In September 1919, Arnold Sommerfeld published a classic textbook, Atombau und Spectral Linien. In the book, Sommerfeld, from the University of Munich, described fascinating insights into atomic structure, which followed on from a famous paper by Niels Bohr, who, in 1913, had first suggested that electrons in atoms can occupy only specific energy levels or orbits. Bohr's hypothesis was based on the observation of a very limited number of lines in the atomic spectra of hydrogen. It was Bohr's idea that the frequencies of the lines were related to the distance of the energy levels from the nucleus. For other atoms, however, the situation was clearly much more complex as their atomic spectra displayed many more lines. This was commented on by Gilbert Lewis, who, as mentioned in an earlier video, disagreed with the primary premise of Bohr and Summerfield that electrons were orbiting particles. Thus, in December 1917, Lewis noted that the problem of finding sense from such complicated spectra was nothing less than baffling. Sommerfeld succeeded, however, in making some sense of the spectra by suggesting that electrons can occupy both spherical and elliptical orbits within an energy level. For the elliptical orbits, Sommerfeld combined Kepler's laws for orbiting planets with the new ideas of quantum theory to obtain a specified number of orbits for each energy level defined by quantum numbers that remain in use today. Concerning his assumptions, however, in particular his assumption that electrons orbited like planets, he noted that paradoxically they were essential to explain the spectra while being inconsistent with classical physics. He decided, however, to continue to progress with his ideas with a view to worry about the postulates later. As a result, a quantum theory of the atom, now known as the bohr sommerfeld atomic model, became established. Ultimately, however, despite Sommerfeld's ability to grasp a near-perfect understanding of the atom from spectra, something he referred to as hearing music from the spheres of atoms, the Bohr-Sommerfeld model would, after the mid-1920s, be replaced by a new theory based on wave mechanics. Tellingly, two of the main contributors to the new theory, Wolfgang Pauli and Werner Heisenberg, were former students of Sommerfeld and would both subsequently win the Nobel Prize. Sommerfeld, their doctoral supervisor, instead remains famous for never having won the Nobel Prize despite being nominated a record 84 times. Thanks to the archives shown here and their contributors and thanks to you for watching to the very end. Hope to see you again sometime soon.